All right, so today I'm gonna be using a loop from my brand new loop kit. So I created 10 loops. This one is loop two, which is the one I wanna use for the video. But like I said, there is 10 of them in the kit. So if you're seeing this, there's a link in the description. Let's get started on the beat. So I'm gonna link this to the first mixer track like this. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut out a little bit of low end from it. And then you'll see that there's sections to this. So right over here, it drops into the verse. And then over here, the piano comes back in. This first half right here, which is the hook. And then the other part is like two parts you could use for the verse. So all the loops in this kit will be arranged similar to this where everything's in one spot. And then I'm gonna have it broke down in other parts of the loop so you can cut it up and use it instead of it just being one big part. You know, you can have some parts where things go in and out. And then some parts come back in. So you can like sit here and chop this, right? And you can have this part uh, be the verse. And then this part is another part of the verse if you want it to switch up or, you know, whatever you want to do, honestly. But right now, what I'm going to do is decide if I want this loop to stay where it's at or change the pitch. Well, I said that terribly. If I want to keep this pitch or change it. So maybe I want to go up. But I think for right now, we're going to stay where it's at. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab pattern one and I'm going to drag this out. Let's go to about here. Let's loop this part. So what I wanna do is put the snare on the three. I'm gonna have these snares layered and I'll go ahead and loop this, but I'm gonna still have them go over like this so we have room for everything else. And I'm gonna change this to bar. And you'll hear on this loop that the piano comes in right before the start of the third bar, right? So there's a little bit of a swing to it. And I like that because it's going to give the 808 a lot of bounce. So what I'm going to do is just put in a hi-hat. I might do a two-step or kind of try to create like a nice little rhythm. Let's, let's try that first. Okay, I like that. So let's go in here. Let's do control A, shift D. And now let's figure out some type of like fills to do. See like right here, the chord's hitting there. So maybe I wanna do like a fill that goes into that. So let's try this. Right click, go up. I like that. And then let's do another one here. Let's see. Yeah, let's go like that and bring it up like this. Maybe bring this down. Cool. So something like that so far. And then let's get this open hi-hat in. Let's see. And for the open hi-hat, I'm gonna drag this one out and I'm gonna come over here and I'll probably do something like this. Hold on, that might sound cool. I gotta hear from the beginning. <laughs> All right, I like how that sounds. And then let's drag this over here and let's see. And then I wanna do like a build up right here. So I'm gonna come over here, get this tool and let's go something like this. here <laughs> something like this yeah that sounds good yep like that
Let's bring them all down just a little bit. Tiny bit. Uh, so the last one's not too quiet. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and run with that. Let's go over here now and let's see what we could do. Maybe add like a snare. I kind of want to have like the snare be a little bit more bouncy. Just one extra note like that. That sounds good. And then just for fun, let's try to add in like a little kick pattern. I'm gonna do the 808 next, but I just wanna see what type of bounce we can get with this. Let's go ahead and record something with the 808. All right, now let's go into here. Let's quantize this. Let's go like 145 maybe. And now let's add in some extra parts on this 808. Let me change this over to cell. Let's do the same thing we did uh, right here, but over here. That sounds good. Now we just need to add in a kick. As you can see, I turned it up all the way. I'm gonna probably add the velocity all the way up too. I have a soft clipper on the master um, so we don't clip during the tutorial, but it's gonna help out too because then I could just push the kick into it really loud and get a nice soft clipping sound. So let's see what we want to do with the kick. So you can see our 808 pattern, right? You see it here and so on. So we're just going to kind of follow that and try to create more of a swing with it too. So I'm going to skip this one. Probably skip that one too. And go here. Let me duplicate this hi-hat. I might want to end up doing a two-step instead. So let me just go over here, see what it sounds like. Yeah, that's what we're going to end up doing. The other one's cool. It's just kind of too slow. All right, so this is sounding really good. What I'm gonna do is open up Arcade and I'm gonna add a vocal to this real quick. All right, so instead of a vocal, this is actually one that I found that fits. It's gonna sound nice. And with all the samples in the kit, they are gonna be labeled with the key signature. So you can just load up something like Arcade if you wanna add something extra to it, set it right here, and then it'll be locked in. So let's see what we could do with this one. Like I said, I like how this one was sounding. So I went ahead and chose this. So I mean, all these are gonna work, let's see. I really like how that sounds already. Let's go ahead and start off here. I didn't even like really try out any of the other notes. These are the only two I found so far. They already sound good, let's see. So let's go ahead and bring in this and we'll solo this. Oh, 
that sounds good. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see this one. That's perfect. There we go. And it's finished. Just like that. Let's hear it. This one. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. You can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my site, lifestyledidit.com for everything else. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. Push notifications. Thanks.